Hey, everybody, how you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Awesome. Chill. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, chilly, and uh, I'm like chilly, cold like the weather, not like a hot, spicy pepper. So, uh, sorry, amigos. Um, I'm making up for you. I am Canadian, so we're kind of polite. So, if you don't like the show, then uh, I'll give you your money back, okay? Is that good? Is that good? I'm going to go broke. Um, so, anyway, it's tough out there. I got to tell you, man, it's tough out there. I'm kind of going through a midlife crisis, trying to look for some new jobs, some new work stuff. So, uh, I uh, landed this job in a quarry. You guys know what a quarry is? Like you're, you're, yeah. you're like you're like banging ports and granite all day long, right? Um, anyway, I'm at, I'm working this job. I'm working my ass off, and and they fired me on the first day, man. They said I was stoned. I gotta tell you, it's tough. Yeah, I, I was all broken up about it too. Man. And it really put me between a rock and a hard place, you know, because my buddy was my buddy, the geologist that got me this job, too. Uh, you may have heard of him. Frank San, Frank San Andreas, have you heard of him, the geologist? Man, he's, uh, he's shaky, I got to he's shaky. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I like the... Slightest little movement, slippage sets him off. I don't know. Anyway, but he set me up with this other job. Well, it's kind of like a training thing where, you know, we're building these cylindrical holes in the ground and so that we can, like, extract water. And it's supposed to be a good uh, for the karma, too. It's called wellness training. Oh. Yeah, man. And I was taking this course, this training, and, you know, I was. I was digging a hole trying to get out of that course, but they said, no, man, you got to finish this course. You're not giving your money back. So they said, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to use these, um, we're going to, we're going to use these motors to get the water out of the ground up to the surface. And I was thinking, okay, well, I was getting pumped up about that. But then, uh, it's a true story. Yeah. And, but, uh, I don't know. After a while, I just thought this job is boring. It, it's a boring job. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, anyway, my buddy, uh, he set me up with this other course. I thought maybe another career. So I was going to be like, become like an anesthesiologist. I can't even pronounce it, but anyway. But I was taking this course, and uh, they kicked me out. I was falling asleep. All <laughs> and the funny thing was, I, I was kind of like feeling all weird and queasy. So I started. Uh, started taking that, uh, what's that stomach stuff you take? Uh, Pepto-Bismol, man, but I kept getting an upset stomach from it. I don't know, like it was, So then finally I stumbled on this thing, stand-up comedy. So uh, here I am today. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, but the good thing is I landed this job in Las Vegas, man, and it was awesome because it was like, it was at a, kind of not the biggest hotel, but it was like, you know, one of those like circus themed hotels and I landed the gig, you know, and so I, I said to the manager, hey, did you uh, really like me for my comedy? And he said, no, I, I thought you were a clown and would save on makeup. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I did the show and the audience, I got to tell you, the audience, they were clapping like crazy and and thanking me when I got off the stage. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm in Vegas, and of course I thought, well, I might as well gamble, you know. So I went to this, uh, played this uh, poker game, and it was at this other casino where they had like a gardening conference. And it's weird, because when, when you gamble with gardeners, like you win stuff, like I won a bunch of shrubs. Like I won enough shrubs to like circle my whole property, you know. I guess you could say I was hedging my bets on that one. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And, and I did win a bit of money, so... I'm in Vegas, and of course, what do you do when you're in Vegas? Buy appliances. That's right. So I went to the store to buy like a to buy like a stove, and uh, this salesman started talking to me. That guy was out of his element. Man, he had no idea what he was talking. About. Yeah, and uh, but he started talking about the convection effect of the uh, you know this oven and everything. And, and I just thought, man, he is full of hot air. Can you get me another salesman here? And this other guy showed up, and that guy, he was out of his range too. So I said, no, forget it. Give me a hot tub. That's what I want. I want a hot tub. Like a jacuzzi tub? So I got a jacuzzi tub, man. 
you know, the longer I sit in it, the yellower the water gets. It's really weird. Like, no one wants to get in the tub with me. Man, I'm telling you. It's hot out there, man. And I gotta tell you, like, one more thing uh, before I go. You know, I love chewing bubblegum. I got my favorite bubblegum, and it costs like a penny a piece, right? And, uh, have you heard this before? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this gum costs a penny a piece, and the damn company that makes this gum, they like they doubled the price on me, right? And I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm gonna go down there and give them my two cents worth. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you're amazing. Well, I'll give you your money back. Thanks a lot, I'm <laughs>